Internationally recognized photographer Michael Colopy visited USF to share his experiences working with the most influential people of our generation. You know, I've been blessed with knowing a lot of really wonderful people. In fact, coming into this particular work, uh, I've been blessed to meet a lot of my heroes in life. I was very much a big fan of the Beatles growing up and uh, getting a chance to not only meet them but work with a few uh, has been really rewarding. Nelson Mandela, uh, I spent three days with him. That was fascinating. But I just photographed Condoleezza Rice for her memoirs, and I found her to be very interesting as well. She's a huge football fan, and as I am, and uh, she was very knowledgeable about uh, sports, and a uh, very interesting lady, very, very intelligent person, and, and very charismatic, and good sense of humor. Uh, Alice Walker, the great writer, uh, made the point that we can complete each other because we all have human frailties. And sometimes it's those important leaders who have the biggest, uh, most uh, uh, renowned or, or uh, loud human frail frailties. But yet with each other, we can complete each other. You know, I can complete you, you can complete me. You know, Mother Teresa used to say, whatever you can do, I can't do. And whatever I can do, you can't do but to together we can do something beautiful for God. Mother Teresa, who was his friend for 15 years, was Colopy's favorite person to work with, and he wrote a book about her called Works of Love Are Works of Peace. I knew that she didn't like to be photographed, and I rarely had seen actual portrait photographs of her, and as I know uh, today, I think there's been only two or three of us that have the opportunity to actually sit her down for a portrait. But early on when I got to know her quite well, um, I met her by accident out here in San Francisco, or by chance, I should say. She invited me to come back to her house, and I got to know her by driving her around to her appointments here in San Francisco while she was setting up a, a missionary house here. And um, she told me early on that she had this deal with God that for every photograph taken of her, a soul was released from purgatory. So you can imagine the, the pressure I was under on, on that. She had a fantastic sense of humor. She was not political. Uh, she had this ability to connect with people that I have rarely seen uh, with uh, other individuals of her stature. Um, she had a great sense of humility as well. And I think that's what really bounds uh, greatness in a way, that sense of humility with a good sense of humor. She and her work were all about love. It was about love first and no judgment of individuals or, or particular people. Colopy's visit also included speaking to the Erasmus group about his project, Architects of Peace. But our thought is, is really to educate peace through the lives of these extraordinary people, and many of them are very well known, and some of them, a great majority of them, are not known at all. Uh, but to be able to educate peace and inspire positive action. The focal point is really talking about some of these individuals that maybe some of uh, the students may not know about, or maybe going in further into areas of individuals that they do know about um, and try to give them a, some sort of an aptitude of, of peacemakers and what it takes to be a peacemaker uh, and also you know, who we have uh, influencing our world at this point and how that plays into what they're doing and, and how they can be a peacemaker themselves. Colopy also shared what it was like being a young artist striving for success. And, I've never had a difficulty uh, getting to anybody, really. You know, um, it's a matter of persistence and uh, dedication and really trying to uh, get to those people um, any which way you can. But I think that um, it goes back to having some sort of a passion for what you do, some sort of inspiration. I think each person has a talent. And I think that once you find what your particular talent is, and it may mean that you actually switch course a couple of different times. It may mean that you start in one particular avenue of the arts and thinking that maybe I'm going to be a filmmaker, but it actually leads you on to being some other aspect of in, in art. So I think what's important is really to try to find out what is that skill set, what is that uh, inspiration inside that you have, what is your talent something that's really going to drive you throughout your life. And then once you have that passion uh, and drive for a particular thing, you can't help but be successful. 
Colopy shared some of his photographic techniques, as well as how art can have a social justice message. My type of photography is always uh, more of a portrait photography uh, oriented. Um, I do also uh, work as a photojournalist on occasions and incor uh, incorporate that type of work in with the rest of it. And then I always liked working in black and white because I felt it was more of an artistic uh, way to go and, and I felt that it stripped away the distractions of color so that you went into the integrity of what the image or the emotion was of the photograph that you were trying to portray. Most important, when you do choose your vocation or your particular career in life, uh, is to try to incorporate something in that that helps somebody else out. So for me, I always, from the get-go, wanted to create images that might have some sort of a purpose, whether it be documenting individuals of purpose uh, or trying to make that collection have some sort of resonance in changing somebody's ideology or somebody's uh, having a change of heart in regard to a particular topic. This is L. Robinson featuring Michael Colopy for USF TV's News 35.